Okay, so next up, just refresh that, check that's all taken beautifully. Let's have a look at what we've got going on with these um, module titles. Now, we've got 36px on there. If we go and inspect that module title, if we open that div up, we can click on the h3 tag and we see that the h3 tag has got our existing style in it. So we'll just up that to 36px. Just change the line height accordingly as well. If we've change the font size and you can see that that's starting to look a little bit more like our mock-up. Also need to go grab that colour exactly like before and we can just paste that straight into the colour and there we go we've started to um, recreate our mock-up quite easily. And we just need to add that border on the bottom of that H3 We'll make that uh, 1px, and it's going to be solid, and we'll give it a colour of a hex, or the Ds. Let's just try that a little fatter, it's not quite looking like our mock-up just yet. We'll try a different colour, maybe that's a bit dark. Mm, that's too, still too dark. Let's just go back and have a look at our uh, our mock here. Quick reference. You can see that it's actually sixes, so let's paste that in. I think maybe Translated to the web page might be a, need to be a little lighter, but also I think perhaps the actual line itself might just be a little too thick. So I reckon let's just quickly make that line But let's throw that in for, for the time being into our H3 at uh, line 327. See how that's shaping up. There's our new CSS. We'll save that up. Back to our home page. Let's give it a refresh. Yeah, it still looks a little odd. Let's try that down to one. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, great. So we'll just change our CSS directly there from 3 to 1. Save that up. That's all starting to look cool. So let's have a look at our unordered list here. Now we've got the standard unordered list here, so we need to style this to make it look more like our mock up. Let's give it a nice height. That's probably about that, and maybe I think perhaps the uh, font size needs to come up just a touch. Let's whack that on to 18px. Oh, that possibly is a little too high. Let's bring that down. Keep it on the same line. So 16 is looking good. Also might need a little bit of margin on the top there. See it's butted up quite close to the, uh, the top lines there. So okay, so that's not looking too too bad. Just maybe just drop the colour slightly. And that's a little bit more in keeping with our mock up. And I think maybe we'll come back to the colour. Let's keep it uniformed across the blocks for the time being. Let's go and paste that back into our unordered list. And there she is at 362. We'll paste that in. A quick save and a refresh, and all's looking well. Okay, so next up we've got this bit of text here, which we'll in in inspect, and it's a paragraph. Now the thing is, the paragraph here is CSS is being used throughout the site, so we don't necessarily want to change the paragraph. 
CSS because it will change the paragraph CSS throughout the whole site. If you see, if we change it there, you can see it moving on the on the article text there. And we don't want to do that. We want to change just the paragraph text for that little block. So now if we just copy the CSS path of that P tag in the HTML. This is a, another great feature of Firebug and we paste that we'll see the entire CSS line that results in the P tag that's specific to that block. So we'll just create a new class in our CSS table, give that web page a refresh and we'll see it suddenly appear above the P tag main p tag and now we can edit that to our heart's content and it won't affect our article p tags whatsoever so let's start um, putting a new line height on this and maybe let's put that around there that's great and maybe the uh, margin might need looking at as well so it's not too f font size and effectively we're that might be a little bit too small effectively we're isolating the CSS for this paragraph without affecting any of the other CSS so we'll put the margin up a little less on the top that's probably a bit too much more like it and we see that the margin bottoms great because we don't want that too far away off the bottom for that email I think that's looking pretty good so we'll just copy that CSS block paste it over our, our new class give it a refresh and take a look at this H2 tag now we've got the same situation here we don't necessarily want to change our entire H2 tags so we'll do the same thing, we'll right click and we'll copy the CSS path and we'll paste that into our CSS template and again we've got that isolated H2 tag that is related directly to that custom mod blue and again another refresh and we can see that that new class is sat above our H2 tag so we can edit that again as much as we like get the line height so it just squeezes it up just a little bit that looks great yep that's probably just about right so let's grab that dump it on top of our newly created class and now we can just give that line height for our overall mod blue class a little less height bring that all in I think we might just push the padding there you go just make it a little bit wider on the padding. Let's grab that and let's overwrite our mod blue, blue class there. A quick refresh and we can see everything is looking good. And we just could do with just adding a little a little margin to this row here so there is just a bit more space between the article and those blocks so we see we've got already got this wide wrap row E class ready to put some margin top into we're going to add 20px in there that looks great might just make that a touch more and we'll copy that into our CSS into the line 78 is what we're looking for go and find line 78 that should be a 
blank class there, ready to paste in our amended version from Firebug. We'll save that up, give it a refresh. And all is looking well.